Happy Friday, everybody. So today, uh, after a nice long day, we are going to go to the Polite Pig at Disney Springs. Uh, a couple of reasons for that. First and foremost, it's absolutely amazing, great food and delicious. Second reason is uh, it's thunderstorming pretty good here right now and it's uh, right outside the parking garage and the escalators at Disney Springs. So uh, it'll be a nice short walk instead of a very long walk to uh, get to the restaurant. So we are here in the Lime Garage right now. As you can see, it's downpouring right now. Everybody's trying to huddle up and not get wet and stay dry. Uh, we came here because it is the closest to the Polite Pig, which is over there in the corner. Uh, so yeah, it's a torrential rain, but this happens all the time in Florida. Don't be scared of it. You get wet, you'll dry, and uh, still have a great old time. It's always good, always fun. All right, so we are here, and it is a good time to come. Not a lot of people are here because of the rain, so we're gonna go ahead and go in, and we're gonna go and get our... Something smart to do is, uh, if you're in a larger group, have someone go grab a table if you know what they want or what they're gonna get, and go from there. And that way you can gather your stuff and have a place to sit when you get done. Typically you want to do that when it's busier. Right now it's not too busy, but we still sent Aiden over to get something anyway. As you can see in the menu up here, there's something for everybody, kids included, which Aiden will be getting chicken fingers, chicken tenders once again. Like okay, drinks. It smells so fantastic in here. I absolutely love the filet pig. Favorite of a lot of people, a lot of vloggers, you'll see we'll have things but the play pig in here as well. You can see there's a lot of space in here. There's plenty of room for a lot of people. Uh, it's usually actually jam-packed in here. Because of the rain, there aren't a ton of people in here. Uh, usually, we, Kelly and I, when we come, we typically like to sit outside because the weather is nice. It's nice just to be out there. When it's a little colder, they have uh, the the gas the heaters outside, so it keeps you nice and toasty even when it's cold. It's great atmosphere, great place. There's a bar outside. I'll show you guys that a little later. Um, so you can go outside, you can get some drinks, relax, and enjoy yourself. But always a good time, great food. I uh, can't wait to show you guys the food. All right, so when you come here and you order your food, you will get a pager. You have to have the pager to actually sit at a table. All the tables are gonna show reserved. To sit at a table, you need to have your pager. We didn't have one when we first sat down. We needed to get back in line to get something. But you do need to bring your pager to your table so you can sit. You do have a waiter or waitress who will bring you your uh, silverware, which is just a fork. And uh, you have, again, silverware in here, which is your fork. You can see Hayden with this fork. Then you have your paper towels for all the delicious barbecue that you're gonna eat. We got some waters to give you some cups with that. Uh, just make sure that you grab your pager before you sit down, otherwise you might get might get yelled at or at least told that you can't sit until you get your pagers. So don't forget the pager. Something else that's really cool, uh, you can actually see them cooking and making your food in the back. So let's... All right, so you can see here, Kelly got the pulled pork sandwich and mac and cheese. Hayden, once again, got the chicken tenders and waffle fries. I got the brisket entree with waffle fries, coleslaw, and a little bit of cornbread. Delicious. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of the brisket here. See how, we, how it goes. Really good. Very tender, you can tell they slow cook it really well. Perfect. Perfect flavor. The barbecue sauce just adds that nice bit of kick that you need. Very sweet, delicious, delicious. Go ahead and try one of the waffle fries while we're at it. Very, very good. Great seasoning. Good crisp, not too crispy, but definitely, uh, definitely soft enough. Delicious. Do a little bit of our uh, cornbread. Mm. 
You know, it's really good. Tell me this jalapeno. I got no jalapeno in there. But it's very, very good. Very, very good. See how Hayden likes his. Right, go ahead. What do you think? You like it or not like it? Not really. What what don't you like about it? I'd say the taste, probably. The dry? Yeah. Is there any spice or flavor? Kind of, yeah. What about the fries? Let's try the fries. Nice fries? Kind of. Kind of? Seasoning. So Hayden is not a huge fan of the chicken tenders as you can tell by the facial expressions. That said though, he, he's okay with the fries. But, so in any case, I mean you can give it a try with your kids. They may or may not like it. They have a lot more uh, items on the menu for kids outside of the chicken tenders as well. Let's go over to Kelly and see how she likes her pulled pork. Very good. The bun is super soft and fresh. The food pork is so tender and the sauce is awesome. Cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy. That's the cheese, the pasta. She said, I don't know if you guys can hear that, she said, so creamy, beautiful, with nice breadcrumb topping. So, all in all, uh, for Hayden, it was a, kind of a pass uh, as far as the chicken tenders go. Not a huge fan of it. He'll still eat them because he needs to. Um, but other than that, uh, Kelly and I like ours a lot. I'm not a huge coleslaw person. Kelly, do you like coleslaw? You want to try some coleslaw? She doesn't want to try the coleslaw. So we'll just have to say it looks good. People get it a lot. Not a huge coleslaw person, so. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys around and we're gonna go ahead and check out the uh, indoor bar really quick. Actually, let me take a quick stop here so you can actually see here. You can get all your sauces here. You get barbecue ranch, barbecue so old. Uh, Layla's sweet sauce and little, little John's black pepper. And then there's also hot sauce as well. So you have your little trays as well as uh, the, the little little holders as well in case you just want a little bit versus a lot. All right, and then you can see we have the indoor bar here. So we just come on in, get a nice drink, sit back, relax, and chill. If you buy a regular fountain drink, you can go on right over there and get your own sodas or whatnot from there as well. As I kind of talked about it a little bit before, uh, Kelly and I like to sit outside when it's actually nice out, when it's not downpouring. We usually like to sit right by the bar because I mean, get really nice drinks, but it's great out, especially right now. It's fantastic because it's very cool now that it rained. You see, they have a lot of outdoor seating here as well. It's right in the heart of uh, the main area of, of uh, Disney Springs. The uh, World, One World of Disney store is right over there, straight ahead. So, as you can kind of see from around the corner there. So, favorite store ever. But it's great, just sit back, people watch, have a drink or two, and grab some great barbecue. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, tonight's outing to uh, the Polite Pig. I definitely would recommend it. Uh, we come here whenever we can. Uh, it's great barbecue, great price, and again, great place just to kind of hang out. Disney Springs. How can you go wrong there? Have a great night, everybody.